Hello, my materialistic minions. Bo Chevisu coming to you today with this portable power bank. This thing right here, not the orange that it's on. That's actually all my camera equipment, which is the exact reason why I have this thing. Because when I'm out on the road and I have a whole bunch of my, my, my drone batteries and camera batteries, these individual small little power banks don't quite cut it when it comes to charging something of that magnitude. Now, these are fantastic for charging my iPhone on which I'm filming right now, uh, using the USB ports there and there. This is kind of cool because it has the, uh, the solar panel on it. Honestly, it's kind of kitschy. It takes a long time to charge using the solar panel. So don't let the solar panel be a charging or a, a selling point. Now, back to this, which is probably the reason why you clicked on this video. I'm going to go through a few things what i like about this what i don't necessarily like about it and uh, if in fact you like it well you can check out some other reviews using the link that i provide in the description below it should take you to the amazon page uh, but first let's go through a few basic functions of this now it's about uh not quite as heavy as a car battery i would say a little lighter i've actually had another one of these power banks before which was like 40 pounds it was way too heavy I needed something that I could basically pick up, put in the back of my SUV, and away I go out into the field. Now, uh, back to uh, basic functionality here. You will see, um, you know what, I'm not gonna actually describe what's on here. You can basically see it yourself, but here's how you turn it on. So right up here, we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna start off right off the bat with what I don't really care for, which is the low light LCD screen. Now, obviously if it's dark, uh, you'll be able to see that, but I kinda have to really focus on this uh, during the daylight in order for you to see that. So apologies if you can't see that very well, but you can see it has, uh, quote, 99 hours left, which is actually more than 99 hours. And uh, functionality is this. If we wanted to turn on these right here, let's say, for example, you had a, uh, uh, your, your car was dead. Oh, see, it just dimmed right there. Uh, come on, people. Wake up. There we go. Uh, it's still on, you just have to wake it up and it dims so that it will save battery life. But anyway, if you wanted to turn on the DC right here, then you just click that as indicated by, see that little DC that turned on? If you wanted to turn off that, you would do that. Same with AC over here. AC right there, and it is off. And then same with USB. There you can see that the USB and Type-C is on. So that is how you engage each of these three. One, two, or three. Uh, yes, you can. There, there's DC and USB and AC. Yes, you can have all three of them on at the same time if you so choose. So let's say, for example, you have this flashlight right here, which is actually a taser. <laughs> so let's pretend that your flashlight is dead and we just plugged it into uh, this right here, which it just dimmed. Let's go ahead and turn it on so you can actually see it. And now, Right when we click, so we don't want DC on, we're just gonna turn that off and we're gonna turn on the AC right here. Ready, one, two, three. Now it is on and let's see if it's charging. Is there a little charging light? Oh, look at that. There's a little red light right there, which you can tell it is now charging. How cool is that? So if we were to turn off the AC, alternating current now it should no longer be charging yep you can see a little red light is no longer charging so that's a quick demonstration of uh, that right there in that side now obviously you're not going to have uh, enough power in this thing to run for example your hair dryer so don't try uh, just try small little electronics like that or let's say for example you need to uh, charge your um, your drone or your camera batteries this would work perfectly for that. Uh, let's go ahead and actually charge my phone on which I am um, filming right now. So we're going to plug that in and uh, go ahead and turn on the USB and there we go. It is now charging my phone and you can see that it now says we have 19 more hours to charge the phone until this entire thing is dead. Th that is this thing, not my phone is dead, but this thing. Cool, huh? So now if we uh, turn off this and it no, and it stops charging it, it should go back to 99 more hours left. And it's no longer pushing out 12 watts. Was that how many watts it was pushing out? Oh, it's pushing out four watts. It's pushing out, uh, yeah, it's pushing out 12 watts right there. How cool, right? 
Uh, also, yes, it does have a little light on here, which there are three functions. So if we were to turn this on there, one, two, and then three. So small, medium, and then brightest. So if you did have this in the back of your car, you could, in a pinch, use this to um, illuminate your tire changing. Or if you were stuck on the side of the road, you could, I guess, theoretically put this out there so that people could kind of see you. And then when you turn that off, there's that. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this whole thing off like so and hold down the power button and kaput. So that is it. Down and dirty demonstration of this uh, power bank from What Fun. Clever name, very clever. And uh, hopefully this is helpful in determining whether or not this little power bank is right for you. So far, I give it a five out of five stars. It works for my particular needs and it might work for yours as well. Hopefully this helps. Catch you later.